Like, that's something I kind of wanted to comment on a little bit. I mean, the world is seemingly going to shit, <laughs> and we're watching it in real time. But really, the kind of action that's required is to, to even, even moder- even to even address it in any sort of small way is often, I feel like those energies are being co-opted by online participation. So having your opinion, your hot take is seen as a, a sort of, um, it, it makes up for in some sense of what disempowerment we feel about what's yeah. happening. Do you know what I mean? And I feel like social media fuels that feeling because they know that's part of the addiction to their platforms. Yeah. Yeah, a- absolutely. I mean, it's, it's, they've, um, they've hacked our, our neurobiology, you know, they've, they've figured it out. I was thinking, uh, the other day about <clears throat> it was something about when Facebook first started, um, when you would get a no- notification, the notification color would be blue. But what they decided was that and for some reason, blue wasn't getting enough people to cl- to click back and see what their notification would be. So they switched the color to red to make it more um, another little like just basic, you know, you know, trick of, <laughs> of uh, how our physiology works is that, oh, they, they changed it to more uh, enticing uh, thing for us. And they, again, they have they have they pay people, you know, millions of dollars to figure out, you know, how to further you know, basically hack our minds. Yeah. And, um, again, it's, it's, all, if, if it's all driven by money, you know, it's, it's just like any other part of our society. It, it leads to this, um, this hyper, um, stratified and hierarchical system where, again, there's only a few people that are really, um, you know, have, that can, you know, have a living, by, you know, doing whatever it is, podcasts or, you know, YouTube or whatever it is, you know, stuff like that, online influencing. So it's a very, um, it's pretty sad. (laughs) Yeah. Well, could you speak to something that was brought up is the class division and the way that manifests through, um, honestly, just through the infrastructure of the internet. So (laughs) you have in cities and more densely populated areas, internet connections are often much faster. It's much easier to connect your smartphone to a very fast network, to a fast connection. So people living in densely populated areas uh, really have the so-called benefits of having this online or extremely online behavior, this culture that comes from that. But people that live in more rural or outside of these dense population zones often don't have the internet speed to really participate in the way that um, more metropolis, uh, people in more metropolitan areas can. Do you know what I mean? Um, could you speak a little bit to that about the 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 class divisions that emerge as a result of the way the internet is structured? Uh, yeah, sure. Um, um, again, it, um, it's mostly beneficial to upper class, middle class, and urban people. And um, what one of the studies that I referenced in the in the piece was. Um, mention this idea of technophilia, which is, you know, people that have more access at a younger age and that use uh, the internet, social media, and um, just kind of computer and technology in general. If you have more access and you get more, you know, you have more fun and entertainment with it at a, at a young age, you tend to um, not be as critical of, of how you are being used <laughs> by the technology. And again, in, uh, you can look at any rural area in the, in the country, um, and see what their, you know, what percentage of the population has, you know, you know, Wi-Fi connections. It's pretty low in, in, in lots of places. Um, you know, a lot of times under 50% of the population in, in very rural areas has, you know, Wi-Fi and stuff like that. So, um, a lot of the commentary, that you'll see, you know, on Twitter or whatever, um, a lot of people can't relate to that <laughs> because they don't they they don't have you know that instantaneous access um, that people in cities do. 